Are you moving to the Chicagoland area? Have you not experienced the soul-sucking, brutal awakening of the Chicago winters? Well, I can't say you're in luck, because the winter here sucks. But I can tell you how to prepare for the cold months ahead in the special guide, How to Dress for Chicago Winters. Okay, for starters, the memes are true. It is no walk in the park. Literally. Our winters take up to nearly eight months of the year, starting on Halloween this year. Isn't that amazing? No, it's not. <laughs> so in this handy dandy guide, we are going to show you all the layers you need to dress appropriately for the winter of 2019-2020. Let's get started. All right, so we are at layer number one. My underwear, I'm freaking cold. You pervs to better not look at me. Here we are in underwear and shorts. Good first layer, good first layer. Not appropriate for the winter because you need more than just this. All right, so we're gonna go on to layer number two and I'd like to put on some thin pants to fit over those shorts and a nice tank top. So this is a good layer over the underwear. Pretty good. Look like I'm about to go running a 5K, but not today. So we got another layer going on, yes Maddie? And be prepared that your butt and your thighs are going to get suffocated. So here we have layer number three. We got some thin socks, our first layer of jeans and a long sleeve t-shirt. Pretty good, pretty good. Kinda looks like you didn't even put on the first two layers, but we still got more to come. We are not over yet. No, we are not. Put on some more clothes, Maddie. And we got this great pair of fleece pants, Maddie approved. And we're gonna put these on over our first pair of jeans. And we got the Sherpa socks. I highly recommend that you get these socks because they are warm as hell. So we have layer number four. Looking great, looking cozy. You might not feel circulation in your thighs, but that's okay. You might want to do some stretching exercises or just bear with the pain. But yes, we have another layer, Maddie. Don't back sass me. You put those clothes on. As you struggle to put on your third layer of socks, we are now on layer number five, which is a large hoodie, vest, and those knee-high socks. You know, you gotta keep those toes nice and toasty because it is freezing outside. And we are finally done with the inner layers, but we have the outer layer. Yes. All right. So here we go, putting on our boots. They probably do not fit, but that's okay. You make them fit, okay? You put them on as well as your parka, and then you put on the next jacket, which is the outer shell jacket. Very efficient. Keeps away the wind and all the rain, so it's more effective than the parka, but you gotta keep it on. And you might not feel circulation in your shoes right now, but that's okay. It's all part of the plan. So then we are going to put on the final layer, which is three hats and two pairs of, don't fall, two pairs of gloves. You gotta have the gloves and then the mittens. You know, you gotta make sure your hands are nice and toasty. And you got to put on the final layer, which is the massive scarf. Suffocation is perfect. All right, now that you have everything on, you may or may not be able to move, but that is okay. As long as you are warm, you are ready to go out and see the possibilities of the winter of Chicago. You might feel lightheaded before you walk out, but that's okay. You are now prepared for the outside world. Congratulations. You have finally put on all your layers of clothes, and I hope that you stay toasty and warm this winter. <sighs> I'm so cold.
to be honest right now, I'm like freaking dying. I need to take all this off. Okay, bye.